Have you ever imagined that bats could be raised like livestock? In China, the bat farming industry is quietly developing to supply processing factories, but behind it lie mysteries and controversies that remain unsolved. Leave one to be sure that you will watch the entire video with me. In China, bat farming is not limited to research purposes but has also developed into an industry supplying raw materials to processing factories. Bats are raised in farm models with specialized care procedures to ensure a stable supply. They are often used in food production, pharmaceuticals, and various other products. Bat farms in China are typically built in warm, humid regions such as Guangdong, Guangxi, and Yunnan, where the natural environment is suitable for their growth. Bat enclosures are usually enclosed, dark, and spacious areas designed to simulate natural cave conditions. The size of each farm can range from a few hundred to several thousand square meters, depending on the scale of production. Bats have dietary habits that vary by species, with the most common being fruit-eating bats and insect-eating bats. In bat farms in China, they are typically fed two to three meals per day, with their main food sources being fruits such as bananas, mangoes, and papayas or insects like crickets and mealworms. Each meal does not contain an excessive amount of food but must provide sufficient nutrition. When feeding bats, it is important to keep the food fresh and clean to prevent contamination, while also ensuring that the enclosures remain dry to prevent disease, allowing the bats to grow healthily and maintain high productivity. Bats have a rather unique reproductive behavior, typically breeding seasonally, mainly during warm weather to ensure an abundant food supply for their young. They belong to the group of mammals and have a gestation period ranging from three to six months, depending on the species. Each birth usually results in a single offspring, with twins being rare. Newborn bats are fed with their mother's milk and cling to their mother during the first few weeks before learning to fly and forage independently. In terms of characteristics, bats are social animals that live in colonies, are primarily nocturnal, and use ultrasonic waves for echolocation and finding food. They have a high adaptability to their environment and often seek shelter in caves, tree canopies, or dark, quiet enclosures. In China, some common bat species include flying foxes and fruit-eating horseshoe bats, which are often raised for their meat, leaf-nosed bats and insectivorous horseshoe bats, which use echolocation, and the Chinese big-eared bat, which inhabits mountainous forests. These bats are farmed for research, traditional medicine, and food processing. Processed bats are used to create a variety of products, mainly in the culinary and medicinal fields. In cuisine, bats are often prepared into dishes such as bat soup, herbal stewed bat, crispy fried bat, 
or dried but as an ingredient for specialty foods. Leave a 1 if you have any questions. The bat farming and processing industry is highly controversial regarding ethics, health, and the environment. The exploitation of bats can impact ecosystems and cause biological imbalances. Additionally, bats carry many potential pathogens, raising concerns about food safety and the risk of viral transmission. Despite its economic value, this industry continues to face significant criticism and demands for stricter regulations. Among the livestock industries in China, pig farming holds the most significant position, contributing greatly to the national food supply and economy. With a massive population and high pork consumption demand, China is not only the largest producer but also the biggest consumer of pork in the world. The pig farming industry in China has a long history, initially taking place in small-scale household farms for self-sufficiency. However, to meet the growing consumption demand, the industry has gradually shifted to large-scale industrial farming, incorporating modern technology to increase productivity. Pig farming in China is highly developed in provinces with high production levels, such as Henan, Sichuan, Hun, Shandong, and Guangdong. These regions have favorable conditions, including a suitable climate, abundant land, and plentiful feed resources, creating an ideal environment for large-scale pig farming. Additionally, well-developed infrastructure and supply chains have helped these provinces become key pork production centers, meeting domestic consumption needs and supporting exports. Pig farms in China are becoming increasingly modernized and large-scale. In 2022, over 58% of pigs in China were raised in industrial farms, a significant increase from 49% in 2018. Modern farming facilities are now equipped with automated environmental control systems, helping to maintain optimal temperature, humidity, and air quality for pig herds. A notable example is a 26-story high-rise pig farm in Hubei province, which is expected to produce over 1.2 million pigs annually, equivalent to approximately 108,000 tons of pork. Additionally, large farms utilize sensor-based monitoring technology and artificial intelligence to track pig health, detect diseases early, and optimize nutrition plans. This development helps China maintain its position as the world's largest pork producer but also presents challenges related to environmental pollution and disease control. Proper nutrition for pigs is crucial for maintaining health and achieving high productivity. Piglets are typically fed with their mother's milk during the first few weeks of life. After weaning, they are transitioned to supplemental feeds such as cornmeal, barley meal, and processed feed. 
Essential nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and proteins must be adequately provided to ensure proper growth. A well-balanced diet helps pigs grow quickly and reach the necessary weight in a short period. As for adult pigs, they need to consume approximately 3 to 4 kilograms of mixed feed per day to achieve a healthy growth rate. Leave a zero if you don't like this video. Before transportation, pigs must undergo thorough health checks to ensure they are disease-free and fit for travel. The transport vehicle must be cleaned thoroughly, free of odors or contaminants, and spacious enough for the pigs to move comfortably. Trucks are typically used as specialized transport vehicles, designed with separate compartments. The truck must be equipped with a cooling system, especially during summer, to maintain a stable temperature and prevent the pigs from overheating. Handlers use livestock herding sticks or gentle methods to guide the pigs onto the truck. During transportation, drivers and staff must regularly monitor the pig's condition, checking for signs of injury or stress. If any pigs show symptoms of motion sickness, they will receive immediate care and treatment. Pigs are transported for a duration ranging from a few hours to a full day before reaching the processing facility. Beyond meat, pigs provide many other valuable products, making significant contributions to the economy and the food processing industry. One of the most notable pig-derived products is the skin, which is used to produce items such as gelatin, processed foods, and even leather goods. Pigskin gelatin is an essential ingredient in the food, pharmaceutical, and cosmetic industries widely used in candies, beverages, medicine capsules, and beauty products. Additionally, pigs provide fat, an important raw material in both the food and pharmaceutical industries. Pork fat is used to produce cooking oils, lubricants, and even medicinal ointments. It contains a high level of saturated fatty acids and can be used in traditional cooking or extracted for products such as soap and cosmetics. Another application of pigs is the processing and utilization of parts like bones and internal organs to produce animal feed, fertilizers, and even raw materials for industries such as pharmaceutical manufacturing. With its diverse applications, from meat to byproducts, this industry generates substantial revenue for the economy. Pork products are then widely distributed in domestic markets and exported to many countries. With high consumer demand, China continuously improves product quality to meet international standards while expanding markets to maintain its leading position in the food industry.